Hey guys! Hey. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hey girl, well today I'm with Izzy. <laughs> Hold on my hands. We're having another one of our like get ready with us. We're probably gonna like pour a bit of drinks, but we are leaving the house in like three hours and we're not gonna be really like going out and literally for like four or five hours. So we're just gonna like take it easy, maybe get a bit tipsy, you know the vibes, but instead of doing like shots this time. So should we pour up our drinks? Yeah. We watched Kay Elizabeth's video and it was like the first time thing So like you explain your first time of like different scenarios So we're just gonna like make that the theme <laughs> of today <laughs> Oh my god Oh my god, they literally look stern They do look nice, don't they? <laughs> mine literally looks shit compared to yours Here we go, like mine looks incomparable I think my new kind of bang Hey I've sort of got them by default because my hair was so dead that it snapped no. I see I feel like I haven't done it yet, but I feel like it would look quite good with like pin straight hair and then the flicks. Yeah. Explain the first time we went clubbing. So oh, basically we have this like club called Walkabout near us, but it's not like, you know, like a big club. Yeah. Like, it's it's sort but, of just like a bar. There are walkabouts like, everywhere. I know. Like there was one in Cardiff, there's one in Birmingham. When was the first time we went out out? I didn't like to Birmingham. Yeah. First time I went out was on my birthday. Remember on like a Tuesday or Thursday. Really? That was the first time you went out? Really? No. Yeah, it was because because I couldn't go out because of like me being like not being able to walk. So like you guys all went to like snobs and stuff. No, your birthday was before that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. First time going to like a club like walk about because I guess that is a, a club. Yeah. Was like last summer. I remember that. Yeah, because you got upset that night. I was literally like, you know, when you get really drunk and you just like cry. When it was COVID, it was like you had to be in like the groups of six. It was like sit down and you just go there for like drinks. So we'd go then, but obviously that was that was like the first time we'd been and it wasn't a club then. So the first time we actually went clubbing there. Yeah. As soon as the rule of six went, oh my god. As soon as the rule of six went, then it was like then. So whenever that was, like June, July, -ish. 2021, June, July. I wish I had like some cool story, but I just don't. Yeah. Obviously, that was that time we went to Rosie's and I saw you there. Yeah, we weren't. I we actually didn't really together. enjoyed that night. That was a really good night, actually. Because I quite liked that, like, I saw you there. Yeah. And we spent, like, literally, we spent the whole time together. Because I was with Lex, wasn't I? Yeah. Did you not go to Snobs when I fell downstairs? No, I've never been to Snobs. You've never been I've to Snobs? I've never been to Snobs. <laughs> what? Because we were gonna go on that night that we went to Rosie's. But we yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. I've never been to Snobs. Why didn't you come on that night? We yeah, and you and Mill was there. Yeah. No, was it just you and Mill? No. Are you sure? I thought it was just you and Mill. No, because someone definitely took a picture of me and Mill. I think H. H. No, H was there. Oh, but actually, there's a night that was like actually like proper clubbing. Me and Skaz went to at it, and like our first proper like clubbing. Like it's more of a club than walkabout, isn't it? When I went there, it was there was no one in there. Oh, you only been that one? Mm. Yeah. Well, we went on a Friday. You used to Saturday. go all the time, didn't you? Well, I've been a few times. It was only like two of us, and we've never being like walkabout isn't really like clubbing we weren't really used to it being like you know you literally all in like a massive like dancing and it was only us who we weren't drunk yet and we felt so cringe literally like when we first got there we got there too early oh yeah that's always fun. and then we just sat on the side <laughs> like getting drinks and like no we sat on the side to begin with waited for it like it to get a bit busier first when it got a bit busier then we decided to go for a drink and we were like proper being like come on we need to go and get a drink but we we're too embarrassed to go up and get a drink do you know when we first went out properly in Liverpool, we were went when we went oh, to Electra. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, nice. it was when we went to the uh, shit indie disco with like Luke, Ben, no, Naya, Spencer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was really good. Everyone was uh, dancing and stuff, and we were like just gradually started like moving in because it, we just felt so awkward. <laughs> After that, we were like literally fine, but I think it's just because we were like so when everyone else was drunk. No like weird experiences. Oh my god, but on that night, Skaz literally face planted the floor. There was like a big patch of water and she literally just slipped into this and you know yeah this guy that we know well not really know but like he knows who we are and we sort of know who he is and he was like there and he just saw as in like three years ago yeah really yeah he was he was there. in attic what yeah he was, was he sat there that? i don't know and he was sat there literally watching and like scars mm -hmm. was like oh my god that's true. I know, it was really funny because she was literally on the floor and I was just dying of laughter. First clubbing experience. Oh my god, this is like making my face really itch. Fuck. God, my face is really itchy. It's really making me really itchy. Your first kiss. Oh, wait, actually, I know who it was, but I don't remember when was it was. Is it Joe Woody? Yeah. I feel like he was my first proper kiss. I'd had like little like pecs and stuff. But what, like it would have been like sit, spin the bottle, that kind of vibe. But I was like, I used to be like obsessed with him like I I was like oh my god this was when I was in like year seven he knows this like this is not like was I like what 11 but yeah so like year seven to maybe like year nine ish like halfway through year nine I was literally like oh my god like I was 
like obsessed with Isn't the boy. Isn't that crazy? The it's two. so mad. Did he like you back or not? Like in like bit like we went out and stuff. Like he'd like speak to me and then he'd speak to Mel and then we'd like swap. I it was really weird. just didn't mind that you no. did that. Well, we did. We used to like be all like. I like, really do you know what I mean? But I really like, like him. I think he's a lovely person. person. Yeah. Mm. Mine was with my first boyfriend. I love these special. Yeah. I never did like spin them on or anything because I went to a private school, so like. <laughs> I went to a private school. We were all like, like oh no, that's scary. Really? And like, I remember. We used to love it, we used to play religiously. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I don't know why. I think because obviously Macy went to your school and then like she came back and she'd tell me that you guys used to like play it and I'd be like, oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. We would have never. We used to like go to Whittington Woods and like snog each other. And we you know, like. Who really would good. suggest doing it though? Joe and Gala. I really like they wanted to do it. Mm. What was the first time you ever smoked? Weed or like? I guess just a cigarette. Oh. oh, I was at Scazzers and we were like year nine maybe and like Seb had one oh, and yeah. then like we just tried it and I hated it like I, I, I hate it now Yeah, so, I like, hate it. I think it's um, horrible. I'm putting on so much makeup a year but. Yeah, and we had a bit and it was horrible I can't remember because I remember if anyone ever smoked I was like really against it for ages I'm like, yeah, I, mm, yeah I actually was against it like I used to be like, eh, smoking's gross yeah. It is but, kind of gross I guess, but then I just thought like why am I being so annoying? Yeah Like it's literally no big deal. I remember I went to a party with like, it was my old best friend's party and someone offered me some of that cigarette and I was just about to do it. I think I was like 15. And one of my friends like took it off me and I was like, oh my God, what the hell? Like, let me smoke it. Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I probably did it when I was like 15 like if I was gonna do it then. Do you know what I mean? But I can't think like the specific time yeah. that I was gonna smoke, but I know that would've been my first one. So oh. I was like, oh, I've never smoked before. This is so cool. No do you know what I mean? So what about like vaping? I feel like I vape after I smoke. Yeah, I was thinking that. I feel like vapes didn't become a thing. Cause like all our friends like religiously vape, like they'll always have a vape yeah. in their hand. Like they can't function. Like I remember Max saying, he was like, I'm gonna try and stop. To be fair, Ben's the worst for example. I'm gonna try and stop and then like a day later, it's like, I don't I get it. I don't no. get it at all. I don't see the appeal of like vape. I literally like, don't I wouldn't even never sit in bed. It. Like sometimes I sit in bed and do it cause if it tastes nice, but like I don't ever think like, oh my God, I'm purely like, itching on the Yeah, head. it's not like that you need nicotine. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Isn't vape not actually like deeper than smoking? Well, like in a geek bar, there's like something like 40 cigarettes or something. Yeah, and that's just ridiculous. Yeah. Like how many the boys go through. But there's actually going to be three geek bars going out tonight. Where we're we going? I'm actually really excited. Basically, we're going to if you know Nathan Grace on TikTok, we're going to like an event. Hang on. It's a, it's like a Valentine's event. It's like in a club. They're like the host, but like they're running it, uh, and we're really excited. Like a bit nervous though. Question: um, When did you first sneak out? I've never snuck out. You're a golden child. Actually, it's more just like that you've been allowed to yeah. do what you want. Basically, when I was younger, I used to like literally get so told off for doing everything. Like I'd want to do way more than I was allowed, and I hated being told no. It's so weird though, because now, like, they're the, like your parents are so chill. Yeah, they're literally so chill now. But like when I was younger, like a few years ago, if I ever wanted to do anything, it was like no, you have to be home by like 4 p.m. And I'd be like, oh my god. I managed to get mom to let me stay out later, but like all my friends were still out, and like it really annoyed me. So she came to pick up me and my friends, and then I went back to my friend's house and then at like 11 p.m. when her parents went to sleep we just like got a taxi out again and we were literally out That's for like so but we were literally out for like five minutes because basically one of our friends was like really scared that we snuck out and she hated it we just like had to get a taxi back i thought i blocked my mum off my story and i didn't so i had a video of us in a taxi at like half 11. That's so bad i know i've been mean, like talking to him being all weird she saw it in the morning and when she came to pick us up then she like looked on the camera the camera security thing with the mom of like the house I was at and then they like came in and we was like really mad at us but we were like we were literally out for five minutes like we realised it was bad and came home <laughs> man said we realised it was bad and came home <laughs> no way that's yeah. joke I can't imagine when being angry oh mum used to be like so psycho on me she literally used to like go through my phone every day and like that's you know, crazy we're cooking it now first time you blacked out actually let's do first time drinking then blacking out yes, I remember this vividly what drinking drinking we used to call ourselves classic models it was horrific this was like year nine Right. So I would have been what? 14? Basically, I don't know how or why I got it, but I had like a 70 like CL bottle of vodka <laughs> and we were just drinking it for some reason and we had a bottle of wine because my mum and dad used to like, my dad still does it, he like bulk buys stuff and he like bulk buys wine. So he'd always have loads and loads of wine in the like utility room. And like I used to have people around and I used to like go and like take the wine. <laughs> I remember I did it once and it. when like George and Harry came to mine, <clears throat> like everyone was like, oh, have you got any more drink? And I was like, yeah, we'll go get some. So me and George went downstairs. I was like, will you come with me to get some drinks? 
and like we snuck in and I like I was like I was like hide under your hoodie, hide under your hoodie, and like put it under uh, like under his hoodie. And my mum and dad were sat like in the lounge, oh, no. and we thought we were so cool. And H with that bottle of wine like stabbed it with like a knife because we it had a cork in it, and we were like what 14, we didn't know how like what that meant. And he stabbed it, and it sprayed all over my ceiling, oh, and no. I had like red wine on my ceiling for years. Like it's gone now, but I was like guys, just don't get anything on the sofas, like because mum used to be really funny about them because they're like yellowy, like it's so hard to clean. And so we drunk this bottle of vodka, like between three of us. So that's a, that's a lot of vodka for the first time you drunk. I think it was Nancy spilled a bottle of red wine all over the mattress. Oh no! And I was like, oh my god, like it was so bad. And then I, I was like, like red wine as well. I know. I was like throwing up in the toilet all night, like for like big like lumps as well. Like oh, it was Ew, gross. And I Loz, hate that I when know. you're like drunk. Sick. And Loz was trying to look after us, and it was just mine. What was basically the first time I drank was the first time I blacked out. So like they sort of like really combine. I was thirteen. Went to my friend's house, actually the same person that I snuck out of house. No, but it was like four of us, and one of us had to go home early. We were doing like WKDs, you know how yeah. they You're crazy. Uh, and like yeah. smile of ice and stuff, and then we had like a bottle of vodka like that. Yeah, so we had like a litre bottle of vodka between Where three of us. Where are we getting vodka from at this age? I don't know. I actually don't know. I forgot. But you know when like you think you're tipsy because it's like your first time drinking WKD? Yeah. So like you sort of just think you are, even though you're probably not. Yeah. But uh, to be fair, you probably was. Like, if you, 13 year old you would be tiny like yeah do you know true. what I mean we just got this bottle and literally like one of us wasn't really drinking and then me and my friend were literally just like downing this vodka That's like so from the top like from the bottle yeah. and we I think I literally to do it so easy, we, we just drank it all like both of us because we didn't realize how strong vodka yeah. was we never had it before you don't know your limits do you no. like you just don't even think and about we were it. I was absolutely passed out and we were being so weird like we started like getting off and like literally I woke up in the morning I had literally about 15 breeze all over my leg. I had crazy how many breeze I had. And my mom was like the deaf, like, oh my god, what's happened to your legs? I was like, I don't know, I just like fell over, I don't really know. But like, what was I doing to get that many bruises? Yeah. Like six months later, she found out, she was like going through my phone. She saw that, drank loads of vodka and stuff. So, yeah. It's crazy. How many times have you like blacked out? What do you mean? As in like passed out, like as in like just gone to sleep or like can't remember any of the night? As in like basically just got absolutely slaughtered that you need like help, like standing um, up and stuff. That's how, how I think about like being absolutely paranoid. Yeah, I was quite bad, you know when we went to Libs? Oh yeah, and, and we were, were like meant Jody to, and yeah, stuff. and Max was like, "I'll come to mine," and I was like, "I can't, like, we're at Libs," and then we oh, were like, I remember. "Oh, come. Lord, like, I was so fucked." Yeah, I remember. And I went up to bed. You were like, "Oh, don't worry, I'll look after, I'll look after." And Mum was like, "Do you want some toast?" I was like, "Yeah, get me oh some toast." Oh my god, toast. no, I remember that. And I was like really drunk, but because you were just like way more drunk, yeah. I like had to look after. I was in the car, like. Isn't that when I was throwing chocolates at your head? Yeah, yeah, I and didn't like that. I woke up in the morning. I woke up in the morning. I was like, "Why have you eaten all the good chocolate?" Yeah, I just like sat there like demolishing all the good chocolates. Yeah. And I put on a pair of your shorts, we're taking like booty pics. And yeah, all. and like my mum brought my toaster up and she gave it me. I was like, I don't want toast. Yeah, and, and you were like, like I'll eat it. <laughs> um, I've been so drunk so many times. Yeah, that surely night, there's a time. That I was really drunk. What about that? I was crying. Yeah, that night I was absolutely fucked. Yeah, was you in a kebab shop or that like, pizza shop with me on that night or not? I thought we were walking back with like everybody like Tobe, Gaz, Abby. Oh. Um, Oh, yeah, when one of the girls like it really pissed me off. I'd literally never met her before. She was like, "Someone get this girl a taxi." Yeah, she was like, "Get her home." Oh, fuck off. Like, I was like, "I'll sort her out." Like, it's so annoying. I was like, yeah, it what was the annoying, hell? Actually. I was like, yeah. yeah, and um, I was like falling. Like, literally, I was in the chicken job, whatever it is, completely passed out. Like Ben and Addison were like picking me up, and I was just falling down. Yeah, you were bad. Actually. I was yeah. so drunk. And then another time, I was in um paradise. I don't know where I'd been. I think I'd just been like spoons or something. We went to paradise and I just took like one more shot and something just hit me and I literally like was sitting here and I was like banging my head on the thing I was falling down and, yeah like, I was sliding down the chair like onto the floor because I couldn't hold myself up That's funny. I was oh so do you know when else I was really bad you know when we went to that place with Lex and Minnie yeah and we were meant to go to walk right after yeah and I just couldn't go and I was so fucked uh, and I woke yeah. up in the morning and I couldn't even like dip water without really? throwing up I yeah, don't get I'm it sure I had alcohol on that night 
you literally had like a tiny bit more than me. You probably had like one more drink than me. And I was stone cold, st what is it? Stone cold sober. Really? Stone cold sober and you were like, fuck, like Izzy was asleep on the train on the way back. Have you got, um, and it was like 10 p.m. It's because the cocktails were really cheap. Yeah, they were good. So was Wasn't like two for one? Yeah. Uh, the worst thing is when you're just absolutely throwing up on the toilet. Uh, that makes Do you know when my, no, my worst was in paradise? We'd been at Mills and I was oh, like, oh my God. I, I, that's a picture mate, where I have you been yeah. sick in the toilet. I was so upset. I'll put it on the so screen sad that night. <laughs> I was just really sad and I just wasn't drunk and I was shot in tequila. And then we went back to paradise. Oh, yeah, you were crying on that night. Um, no, I think that was a different night. No, we've been to Mills and you were crying. No, I'd cried at Mills a time before. Oh. I used to cry a lot. I don't cry anymore. Ugh. We went back to yours because I was so fucked. And that yeah, was... I had to like get you in a taxi because everyone was leaving to go to Scales, I think. Yeah, I felt really bad for you. I was like, you go out, I'll go home. Yeah, because the thing is, I was still sober on this time. Like, sometimes you're so drunk and I'm just sober. It is annoying when that happens. Yeah, so I obviously just, like, we, I think we were, yeah, we were having sleep over anyway weren't we and i was like let's get you home because you were literally like you couldn't i was like brooke i need to, to go home yeah oh. luke bennett is coming tonight <laughs> i'm so excited first heartbreak see i don't actually know right because mm -hmm. when everyone says oh i was like i was really heartbroken i couldn't eat i couldn't sleep i was never i've never been like that like i've never been that bad like if it was i feel like yours hit you a bit later yeah it's like because because basically when i had my first heartbreak i was on rocky cane and so like i didn't really feel sad like I felt sad like I was obviously like oh that's a bit shit but I didn't really feel sad until like a few months later and then like a few months later I was like fuck like it hit it's you. really bad but then I think it's always the kind of worse like a few months later because you think of all the like forget about the bad things do you know what I mean yeah 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 so I was really really sad then for a couple of months that's when like like and I guess it kind of sunk to in. everyone like I stopped talking to everyone for a bit I nearly lost all my friends oh fuck that's like really it was really sad like yeah and it was when, because basically, I was talking to Connor, but not like actually talking. Like we just like became friends. So I, like I just stopped replying. He messaged me one day and he was like, we don't ever speak anymore. Made I me realise, I was like, I don't talk to anyone. You messaged like, me I, and you're yeah. like, even he's my life. I was like, if he said something about it, it wasn't like that. Like I literally would just like snap him and we just like, you know, it wasn't, wasn't like that at all. But like, if he's noticed, then like I am actually being a dickhead. I saw where you were being a dickhead. It I wasn't, was yeah, I wasn't doing it on purpose. I was just so sad. June last year. Oh my god, I'm actually running my makeup, there's something in my eyes, so I've had to like cry a bit. I'm so sad. You need makeup so much faster than me. Oh, this is bare pissing me off because my eyes are stinging. Mine was like mm, with a douchebag, so mine just doesn't really count. So we hate him. Literally, like, I've just blocked out my I was talking to bro. Oh my First time getting your period. I was in school. I was in year seven. I got it on exactly the same day as Nancy. How weird is that? Like That's it crazy. started on the same day as Nancy. We went into the toilet in school. I was just like, oh. I'm on my period. What do you and do then, when you were in uh, school then? How do you I don't it? know. I didn't. And then I went back to Skaz's that night and I was really nervous to tell my mum. I don't know why. So you just had like period blood in your pants I think so. Yeah. You, like, tissue in or something? I think I put tissue in. And I texted my mum like, mum, I've stopped my period. Like, yeah, it, it is quite scary. Yeah, I don't know why though. Like, it's weird. Like, Because it's a bit cringe. Yeah. And then I texted my mum. And she's like, yeah, are you okay? Like, need me to bring you some stuff out? I was like, no, it's fine. That's so cute. I think I was on a school trip. I think I was like on a bus. Really? Yeah. And I How did you find out then? Did you just feel because, it? Because like, you know when um, there's like them little toilets in the bus? Oh my God, yeah. And I just like went down into the toilet and I was like, oh. but it was like literally the tiniest amount oh. of like a drop. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, is this a period? Or am I just like bleeding? Yeah. And then like I got I'm home pregnant. and then it was like <laughs> way more. And I was like, oh my God. And like, you know, when it's like really exciting, like I wanted something really late. I sort of was like late. Cause I'm younger than like most of my year anyway. And I was just late in general. I really went I wasn't even late actually. I think it's just my friends were early. When did you start? I think I was like 13 and a half, 14. Yeah, 13. But all my friends started when they were in like year seven and I was in like year uh, nine. Oh, oh yeah, because you're late, aren't you? Yeah. As you just said, lol. And I was like two years late and everyone was like, you know, getting boobs. And I was like, oh my god, I'm not on my period yet. And I didn't relate to anything. Like at that time of the month that I was like, <laughs> like <you know? laughs> then I got it and I was like so happy. Like I loved it. And I told mom and then she started laughing at me. I was like, brilliant. Like literally, it's not even cringe to tell your mom. Like no. obviously she's probably gonna be expecting it soon. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. First time doing like a I was literally like, I wasn't a baby, but like, I was young. Yeah, I think I was 13. I wouldn't be surprised if mine was outside, to be honest. No, you say. Remember exactly. The girl. girl. Probably year eight. That was like 12, 13, depending on when you did it. Oh no, I was 12 when I started my period, and then 13 when I did it. 
good bit. But I didn't sleep with anyone until I was 16. Oh yeah. Did you do bits with many people before you had sex? Oh. Yeah. First time having I was 16. I was with, well, I wasn't, he wasn't my boyfriend, but like he then became my boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? I was underage and it was to be fair, mine was like the first time he'd come to my house. Oh, really? Because I was at the point where like... Was that not making you nervous though? Like, done it. Yeah, but he hadn't either. And so I was just like, I want to do it. I want to get it out of the way. So it's like thing. not awkward. Like I just, I kind of wanted to do it. And I sort of thought at the time, like that's sort of what it was. Like I thought he just wanted to be with me for that. Oh. And I was like, I don't really care. But then we ended up being together. Um, it was really awkward. Like it wasn't good the first time. Like, <laughs> It, like I bled, oh yeah. Ah. It really hurt, like I had to like push my tummy down. This is probably too TMI, but I had to like push my tummy down. It hurt so bad. Why? What do you mean? Because like I kept like pushing up so it like come out. And I had to like push my tummy down to try. Oh. I just want to get it done so it doesn't hurt anymore. Like,